another res another recipe from Recipes from the Hedgerow by Rob Collins today, and we're going to be making proper pigeon pie. Let's get to it. Here we have all the ingredients. I've got four pigeons here. Uh, there was meant to be six, but I defrosted the squirrel instead of the last pigeon because I just got mixed up. Uh, the recipe says four to five pigeons, and also it says 250 grams of stewing beef, but I've got the squirrel instead. Uh, I've got mushrooms, egg, onions, pastry, mixed herbs, and corn flour, and there's also some. Uh, chicken stock defrosting in the microwave now. The recipe doesn't have any mushrooms or onions in it, but I'm thinking it'll just give it a bit more uh, flavour and just make it a bit more interesting. Now it's time to chop up those pigeons. That's the meat all cut up, now for the onions. Now for the mushrooms, I'm just going to cut these into quarters because I don't really like mushrooms so I'll be able to pick them out really easily when I'm tucking into my pie. Some oil. Just swirl it round like so. Don't get the oil too hot. In with the onions. I'll get the rest off in a minute when I put this camera down. Just keep moving them around. They all cook evenly. And I'm crying again. Ah, good grief. These things are nasty. So, we've made them brownie-ish. Now I'm just going to put them into a bowl before we start frying the meat. Some more oil. I'm going to put the squirrel in now, give that a little bit of time, then after I'm going to put the pigeon in because I'm reckoning the squirrel's going to cook slower than the pigeon. Put the squirrel in. This is what mum doesn't like, so I'm going to put some uh, mixed herbs in there to try and mask their taste. I like them, mum doesn't. And that's the pigeon in. Got a good old stir around. Chuck a bit more mixed herbs in. Give it a bit of extra flavour. Just 
chucking some salt and pepper in now. It's been about eight minutes now in the pan. Um, you can see what it's done. And then that's just going to go in with the onions now. I'm going to fry the mushrooms next. <laughs> yeah. Put the mushrooms in. That's the mushrooms done. They don't need to be thoroughly cooked through, as they're going to go in an oven, which will finish them off. Now put the oven on 200, which is 400 Fahrenheit and gas 6. Yeah. Two teaspoons of corn flour. Add a slight dash of water and then mix it up into a nice paste. Nice sort of watery milkiness now. I have my chicken stock and I'm just going to put it in here and this will just help get all the flavour off the bottom of the pan from all the other stuff I've cooked in it. Changed colour now because that's all the goodness absorbed into it got the corn flour paste here and we're going to pour this in while stirring got to stir it so that lumps don't develop going to turn the heat up and then bring it to the boil it's all boiling now so what I'm going to do is just get everything and put it all in a nice stir around and then that's our pie filling now we've got our pie things here and they're not all going to go into one pie because I've done too much so I'm just going to divide it equally between the two dishes smells delicious now it's time to roll this pastry out so let's get some flour spread it about the work surface so that the pastry doesn't stick to it lovely where's the rolling pin now it's just time to roll it out. Obviously I need two hands for this. The pastry's rolled out now and we've just put some water on the cracks and then folded it over to seal it. And there it is. That's the first one done. All we've got to do is glaze it with egg. I'll go through how I did this now. Um, but we've got the rest of the pastry, just going to chuck some flour on top of it. We've put water over the top and uh, folded it over, uh, just this bit here, because if you roll pastry out too much it goes all tough and horrible. So I'll just roll this out and then I'll show you the next bit. Cut around the edge of the bowl.
Let me just get some of this water and put it around the edge. Because the water on the edge will help stick the pastry to the glass and stop it all falling apart. Now I'm just going to get a fork and just do that all the way along because this will stick it to the edge. It looks pretty cool. And it just helps. Now I just curl the edge over just to help seal it on some more. Two little cuts in the top to let the air out as the air inside expands to stop the pie from exploding. One of the last steps in making the pie is glazing it with an egg. So perfect, that's the best egg I've ever cracked. <laughs> Beat this now. Get my little pastry brush, put it in the egg, and then just paint all over the top. And this will give it a nice glaze effect. They're both all glazed over now. Lovely. With all this spare pastry, I'm just going to make some jam tarts rather than waste it. They've been in for 20 minutes now. Um, we've just had a look at them, they're looking really nice. We've just turned them around so they get evenly cooked and just put them in for another 5 minutes. So, 25 minutes and they're done. Been 25 minutes now, so we're going to take them out. Ooh, look at them. They look good. That's the one. Number two. Look at them beauties. There. Andrew? Yep. <clears throat> it's a very bad pie! <laughs> so there you have it, Pigeon Pie with Rob. I'll put a link in the description of where to buy this book. All the, um, all the money raised from this book goes to Pass It On, which is giving field sports to the younger generation like myself. I'm sure I would be... Uh, doing a lot with these guys if I lived closer but they live a good few hours away so unfortunately I only get to see them at game fairs um, so yeah buy the book it's a cracking book like comment subscribe enjoy your pie cheers